Hi guys and welcome back to another video of Game with the Powers. I'm Jake. I'm Sierra. And welcome to Small Business Saturday. <laughs> uh, so we're filming this on Saturday and today's video is just going to be a cool unboxing of um, we went to a local uh, board game store called you went. I went yes um, called House Rules uh, located here in Dallas Texas. Uh, they're great. A small store with a lot of great games at a lot of great prices and so I went down there today and picked up a couple games um, you know two games one game that we really been wanting that we missed the Kickstarter to and then um, I had my eye on some other games there that we picked up and then two games that I'm hoping Sarah might like so we'll kind of we'll kind of see and navigate how it goes <laughs> um, but so uh, the first game the first game we have on the list here is um, dog Park! Dog, <laughs> dog Park. Uh, this was the collector's edition that they have, that they had there. We, um, I, we've seen, we saw this on Kickstarter, but we missed the Kickstarter, and she is all about dogs I and am. love dogs. I've been wanting this So game she too. has been wanting this, and so I saw that they got the game in, and so definitely went down there and picked it up. And the cool thing is, it is the collector's edition, so... You're getting uh, two extra expansions and then upgraded wooden components. So anytime you can get the upgraded wooden components. It's just um, meant to be for us not to get it anywhere else. Yes, that <laughs> is a plus. So you want to go ahead and bust this bad boy open. Uh, yes, yeah, so those of you who are not familiar, this is like, obviously this is a brand new game. Um, I don't know exactly when it arrived on Kickstarter. I'd probably say within the last couple months. Um, I don't know if this is really quite the rage, but I'm assuming it is because I've seen it all over. Uh, but basically what it seems like the premise of Dog Park is, is you are a dog walker and you are walking your different dogs around the park. What does it say on the back? What does it say? It says, yeah, as local dog walkers, you and your friends are trying to set tails wagon by taking the neighborhood... Uh, pups on a trip to the dog park over four rounds you'll have the chance to earn the reputation of the best dog walker around by adding dogs to your kennel walking them through the park and navigating your fellow walkers and their pups along the way choose your dogs and roots carefully to earn the best reputation win the game and prove you're the most accomplished walker of them all Domitian. yeah she got me all right yes. let's go go ahead and bust that bad boy open there Ooh, i'm so excited okay i really like this artwork yeah, it's really good. Yeah, right? it's pretty. Okay. The rule book. Rule book. Oh, I can't spin it. Questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. it the collector's, collector's edition. edition. Okay. Let's us know what else is included. Upgraded um, markers, upgraded resources, kennel boards, and then the European dogs and famous dogs. Mm -hmm. Here's St. Bernard there. Nice. Do you remember the dog's name? I do not know me either. I'm sorry, that's okay. Okay, these are, looks like tokens. Um, probably dials. trackers, yeah. Yeah, stamina dial trackers, maybe. Oh, here's the board. I'm gonna open that up. Yeah. Let's open the game board. You hold that side, I'll hold that. Oh, oh that's a cool, the field. Yeah, look at the dog toys, some treats. Dog dick. Luca dog would dog. love this. We got, oh, okay. his ear went up. That was it. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> breeds, different breeds. And so is there a back to it? Nope. Okay. Well, that's the game board. That's pretty cool. I like it. Mm -hmm. Very artistic. Very, Very artistic. pretty. All right. Okay, here's those upgraded kennel boards. Kennel boards. That's pretty cool. So basically player mm -hmm. boards to keep ah, track of your dog. Yes. I love it. We have game trays. <laughs> game trays. I'm excited for the game trays. <laughs> I'm easily entertained. Score track. Here are the. I'll take some of these out. That's a German Shepherd. Here's oh, some of the. Uh, meeples. Screen printed. These are the reputation meeples. Yeah, so what do they have? They have a German Shepherd. A poodle. A poodle. Um. Wiener dog. Wiener dog and a giant Schnauzer. Giant Schnauzer. All right, I'm gonna put those up. That's pretty cool. We got a bird and a dice in that one. The doghouse in this one. I'm sleeping in the doghouse. Nope. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, dog toys. We'll, we'll, we'll take a few of these out. We'll just. 
So we got some tennis balls, it looks like, dog toys, sticks, treats, all in this bag. Here the, uh, this is the dog walker bag. Or that's oh, one, yeah. two of the dog walkers. Like green and red. Purple and yellow. Um, I like the color choices. Purple and yellow. For female. Green and, green and red for male. Sorry if there's a glare, guys. I'll try and tilt it. Um, those are the screen printing. Ooh. I like that the, the cards are only in like a little yeah. thing. Oh, uh, those are the things with the dials. Mm -hmm. All right. Pop this open rather than having to take off all that plastic. Yeah. Look at all the dogs. The doggles. Oh. This is going to make us have to go get another one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right, guys. Well, I mm -hmm. think I just got, uh, oh, they're like separated by, so those are gun dogs. Yep. Yeah. So here's already. like terriers. Let's just go through the, the I'm not going to go through, we're not going to go through all, all the cars. Dogs. Yeah, that'd but be what a lot. breed of dogs. So they got terriers. Bunch of different terriers. Bunch of terriers. Utility dogs. Utility dogs. Dog. What the heck is that? A Zolo. The, the, that's the Mexican dog. Oxaquat. Yeah. They, they're like hairless dogs. Ah, okay. So utility dog, Shih Tzu. Um, what are these? Working, Working dog. Dogs. Doberman. Giant Schnauzer. That's funny. Um, gun, gun dog. dog. Oh. I have a bunch of gun dogs in here too. Working dog, Siberian Husky. What is this? These are recommended for four player games. Location oh, locations. Bonuses. So okay. bonuses, locations, locations, I'm assuming. Yep. Still locations, solo objective cards. Um, Experience cards. During final score. Objective cards, it looks like. Mm -hmm. These look like final scoring cards. Yeah. Bearing final scoring, yeah. standard cards, uh, player aid cards. So here's the player aid cards. Sorry guys, I was kind of holding them that way. Uh, player aid cards, more player aid cards, and first edition of Dog Park. Cool. What does that say? Containing four limited edition alternative art card dogs. This card signifies that you own a first edition of Dog Park, complete with four limited edition alternative art dog cards. The dogs with alternative art cards are the Retriever, the Pug, Siberian Husky, Great Dane. If you wish to play with any of these alternative art cards, you must swap them out for the original cards. The alternative art cards, I think that's what you saw over yeah, there. have exactly the same abilities as the text. Awesome. Cool. So that's what I got in deck. Let's see what Sierra's got over there. I've got toy dogs, got some Chihuahuas, Cocker Spaniels. I got the main deck of gun dogs. Oh yeah, sorry. Move those over. There's the toy dogs. Main deck of gun dogs. Let's see. Retriever. Um, hounds. That's where our hound, our dog's gonna be under probably. Except he's a mix. He's a he's a Catahoula lab mix. And then pastoral. So pasture dogs. Oh, pretty cute. And then a terrier, a terrier. That goes with you. Um, all right. So then you have, I guess these are more player boards, fire board, player board, player boards. Um, and then we have the famous dog expansion, gun dogs. Gun dog hounds during selection. Oh, these are expert, the breeding cards. And then the other expansion for ah the European the European dog expansion. Nice. Uh do you want to open those up? No. All right. All right, guys. Well, this is Dog Park, the Collector's Edition um, with all of the components and things like that. So that looks pretty crazy. It looks pretty fun, actually. A lot of 
awesome looking component. Yeah. All right, moving on to the next game. We, in the list that we got. So that was obviously a game uh, that we both wanted. So then I was like, most of the time I get games for myself and I don't really think it's Sierra. <laughs> so I tried to do something different and get some games hopefully that she would like that are a little different. So this next game is a very artistic game. Um, it is called Canvas, where you are painting a bunch of pictures uh, with different cards. So this is Canvas. Mm -hmm. Pretty. In Canvas, you are a painter competing in a prestigious art festival. Collect transparent cards and layer them to create paintings. Depending on which cards you choose and the order in which you place them, you will reveal or cover icons to each to earn ribbons. Each card combination creates a unique illustration and title for your painting. Oh, it is pretty. Yeah. So this is a uh this is not like very new. Uh, I think this is 2021. Came out in 2021. Um, obviously you saw on the back is the Dice Tower Seal of Excellence. So let's bust it open. Yeah, I saw, I saw it and, um, I know they had a recent Kickstarter where they came out with a third expansion to the game. Um, and I did not back that though because, you know, if you were to back all three, it was like 160 bucks or something <laughs> like that. It was crazy. Um. This is cool how it opens. Yeah. It like slides. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, so she's very, very artistic and very creative. And so we don't really have any games, I think, that are remotely close to this. Um, so I figured I would um, give this a try. I've heard good things about it. And so it looks pretty cool. Uh, you want to go ahead and open that up? I'll open these up. So that's like the box that's going to hold them. Those are all the transparencies. Those are more bags. Um, I think this is the game mat. You can look at those. I don't know what they are. It says clarifications. Um, I think it's like extra scoring cards, maybe. Yeah. Um, these look like paint. That's pretty. Okay. Back up. Yeah. Oh, so those are like the, uh, I think those are like the objectives. So yeah, like you want to have, yeah, yeah, these yeah. Are. yeah. Uh, okay. So here are the, your plastic, uh, artwork cards. These are your plastic artwork cards where you can see one just has like a additional. So this is graceful. So this one would give you a yellow and a green, but you can just see it's, yeah. It's just one picture. And then like, if you had this one as well, which are just books, you could combine both of them. And now you got like a dancer behind it's it. It's like gloom. Yeah. So. Those transparent cards that like stack on each other. Wave. So they just have a bunch of these transparent cards. So that's like the point of the game is you stack the cards behind a picture and they make different things and they give you different objectives so i know that's probably reflecting really bad so that's kind of those are the base cards and then i think i had this is a game board maybe or the play mat um what if this is yeah so that's the mat so you would have the mat down and then you would have the cards there and then you can choose from so that's pretty cool that's like a nice little mm -hmm. canvas mat um what is this oh it has it like a little spot uh so these are the tokens the game tokens here and the rule book canvas rule book all right, yeah. Well, that is that is canvas. What do you think? It's pretty. You like it? Mm -hmm. You think it looks cool? Yeah, it does look really cool. Yeah, I try to I do like, something different. I like that about gloom, how it's 
stacks on each other, the cards. Uh -huh. I think it's so unique. You did me a favor and put that back in. Thank you. Um, yeah, you know, I saw it and it looked unique. I like the, the uniqueness of it where you're putting the different cards together and creating different combinations. Um, all right. So Canvas. that is Canvas. Uh, okay, so this one is a water-based game where you are a fisherman trying to fish on the seas and get uh, collect fish, I believe, I think it is. But it is uh, dubbed the spiritual successor uh, to another game that we've looked at, but we said we're waiting because there is a dual version of the oh, game. Takaido. Yes. <laughs> so this is dubbed the successor to Takaido. Now, we've never played Takaido before, but this is not an expansion to Takaido. It's a, it's a completely different game. Uh, and oh. this game is mm. called... Nanji. This game is Namaji. called Takaido Namaji. Namaji. I've seen this. Yes. Okay. I've looked up all the Takaidos and Takaido Duo. Yes. So we have wanted to play Takaido. Um, and then Sierra mentioned they're having a Takaido Duo. Yes. And so we figured we'd just wait to get Takaido Duo. Uh, so I didn't get Takaido. So I figured I would get the next best thing, which is Takaido... Namaji. So it said on the back, whale. yeah, whale, octopus, dolphin. So I kind of read it and I was like, oh, I think she would enjoy this. It says, welcome fishermen to the crystalline waters of feudal Japan, uh, where players take to the sea and discover the hidden marvels of Japanese coast. To win, you will have to spend the most fruitful day at sea. Ride the tide to find amazing marine landscapes, fill your rack with vibrantly colored fish, and collect fresh crustaceans. While on your journey, you will encounter opportunities to upgrade your fishing gear and show your devotion in the sea spirits, to the sea spirits. Perhaps they will grant their divine rewards to you if you abide by their will. Um, and it says, in Namaji, experienced travels will recognize some of the basic rules established by a spiritual predecessor to Kaido. This new journey will also require a sharp sense of strategy and methodical planning. However, a journey at sea also holds unique challenges. Patience and observation will send you sailing to victory. So I saw it and I was like, yep, it's fishing. Uh, I think it looks cool. I always am a, like, a, I always like the Japanese culture, um, games and themes and things like that. So I figured this would be a fun, fun little play of Tokaido Namaji is the pronounce. The Aww, correct way you pronounce. these are so pretty. I like that. What do they have? Dolphins? And... Yeah, these. Bless you. Excuse me. But she's open. Bless you. But she's. Excuse me. But she's opening that up. Uh, here's a rule book right here. Um, oh, they have special rules for two player games. Wow. Yes. These what is like that? Whoa. I don't know if we're supposed to take them apart, so I'm not going to right now. But we got some cool. whales. A wallies. Thanks. Wallies. Oh. Yeah. Here's the dolphins. Okay, dolphins. Octopus. Octopus. Octopi. Cool. Octopuses. Is it octopi or octopuses? Octopi. Okay. Pretty sure. <laughs> um, all right. So that's pretty cool. Here's generic game tokens. So these look like fish. Uh, well, we got some fish, some sting, fish, stingrays, eels, it looks like. Yeah. Um, these are some shrimp, some scrumps, uh, some shrimp. Those look like victory point, no, those would be victory point tokens. Yeah. Something else in origami papers. I don't know. We'll find out what all this stuff is, guys. <laughs> You're learning just like we are. All right, this is the game board. We'll go ahead and open this up. Oh, that's a big board. Yeah, it is a big board. Eh, it's not that big. It's about the same as Dog Park. Yeah, yeah. But that is a beautiful board. It is pretty. Scrumps. Whale. Whirlpool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Takato Namaji game board. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Some player boards. That's what they look like. Yeah. <laughs> Got five, because this is a two to five player game. Ooh, dips on two. 
Or green. I'll take either. You can have poop brown. <laughs> poop brown. <laughs> I get the poop brown. Or skin color. Depending on where you're skin, from. Skin color is a girl. I don't mind playing a girl. Yeah, those are cool. All right. Um, A nice cloth bag. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Uh, Some token. Yeah, those look like player, player tokens. tokens. Player yeah, tokens, like boat. reputation oh, tokens. Cool. That's cool, like a little boat. Yeah. And reputation markers, probably. And octopus cards. Octopus, a bamboo trap. Mm, so some item man. cards, maybe? Yeah, item cards. Whale. I mean, yeah, maybe. Fisherman in good shape. Interesting. Yeah, I'm, item cards. Some cards. Yep. Next card. <laughs> All right, guys. Play them. So this is Tokaito Namaji. And uh, I was told that this is, again, this is not an expansion. Uh, to Takedo. This is a separate standalone game just with the same concept. So uh, from my understanding, Takedo was like you're going along the Silk Road in, in Japan and this one you're a fisherman. You're a Japanese fisherman or fisherwoman. Um, so that is... Would the Silk Road be Chinese? Oh yeah, I think the Silk Road is Chinese. <laughs> I don't know what the other road... But I thought it said Silk Road though. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, Put in the comments, let, let me know, let us know what the actual road you're going along is in Takedo. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so that is Takedo Namaji. So what do you think about that one? I like it. I'm okay. excited to play it because I've been wanting to try the Takedos in general. Okay. So these are... Okay, so these are the three games that I got for you that I figured you would like. And I do. So good, three. good. These are mine. So even though I guess... I can guess right sometimes, guys. Okay, the last one. The last one was a purchase for myself. Um, I have, I've seen this game on and off. I think the theme just looks funny and silly. And so it is basically, um, it's kind of a deck building game, but it's a reverse deck builder. So like normally, you know how games like, um, it's like summer camp where you can buy the cards mm -hmm. and you want a big deck because yeah. you can get more points. In this game, you do not want to have a big deck, but as you take actions, you get cards into your deck, and like you, if you have a big deck, it'll slow you down. So the game is called The Hunger, and what it is is it is that you are a vampire, and you are on a castle at the top of like a mountain, and you descend the mountain down into the townsfolk, and you feed on the townsfolk, and again, I don't know exactly how it works, but I think this, the summary was like, when you feed on the townsfolk, you take the card of that person. So I want to feed on Billy Joe. So then I would take Billy Joe's card, and then his card is going to say, oh, you could you move one less, one space less, or one space less. So the goal is you want to come down from your mountain, eat as, or feed off of as many people as you can, and then get back to the mountain before the sun comes up, and you turn to ash. And so there's like a time limit for you to do that. And the bigger your deck gets, the more slow down. They simulating like you fed on so many people, you're fat. <laughs> you, you, you over ate or you over drank on blood. Um, so this is called The Hunger. So The Hunger. So okay, I think you've showed me this box. Yeah, before. I showed it to you before. Um, so what was cool is um, I saw it. And then I saw on there that it's the first printing promos are included. So, and this was the only one left. So I was like, again, this is a game that I've been looking at for a while. Um, it came out 2021. So it's relatively new, a year, a year old. Um, but yeah, I've always kind of followed it and then I've seen it and I'd be like, okay, I want to buy it. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to buy it. Um, but yeah, so I walked in, I saw it. I saw that they had the first promos included anytime you got promos in there and it was the <laughs> last one on the shelf. So I was like, why not? This is a good opportunity. Um, so yeah, you can see here, it says the hunger, you are hunt your prey with vampiric might, but return to the castle before the sun rises. So the goal is to race across the board, hunt the most precious prey and find the eternal rose. And then you got to hunt the right cards to fit your strategy and build your deck and then search crypts for missions, but beware of bad hunts that may slow you down and make sure you're back at the castle before sunrise or you get burnt to ashes. Hmm. 
So sounds good. Yeah, it sounds it sounds grrr, funny. Yeah. Um, and again, like you can tell by the artwork, like it's not a. It's more like a satire type game, almost. Well, I don't want to say satire. Yeah. But it's like a, it looks silly. It looks like a silly, funny game. You know, it's not like a. Uh, Oh, man. Like, there's that vampire game where you have to hunt Dracula and, like, you're a hunter. Mm. I don't remember what it's called, but, like, that one's, like, super serious. Like, a serious, like, vampire hunting game. This one looks super funny and, like... Uh, not your mom. Okay, that's the hunter. Alright. So, this is the rule book here. Go over there. Just kind of take a look at that. Nice little, uh... Renegade Studios. They also do Clank. That's just their little promotion. Um, all right, let's get out the game board. It's a nice gloss finish to the game board. Mm -hmm. You're two sided. Oh, is it double sided? Yeah, it is. Let's show them the first side. Okay. Uh, this one? Flip it that way. Yeah. Okay. So this is the first side of the game board. So like, see, there's your little castle and then like you go around in the town and mm -hmm. do what you want and then come back. So that's one side and then flip it over on the other side. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if it's like certain players. Yeah. If one player you go I was trying on. to see if it said. Yeah, maybe. Uh, mm. Awesome. We'll learn. We'll learn. We'll figure it out. So that is the game board. I like the finish on the game board. Yeah. Like, very it, glossy. Very glossy. Okay. Um, so these just tokens and abilities. I know you can like gain abilities. Mm -hmm. Some um, blood tokens. Yeah, blood tokens. More standard generic tokens. Um, player boards? Maybe player boards. Let's see. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that maybe look like player maybe. boards. Yeah. Um, all right, and then nice little tokens. I guess this, oh, these are like probably to move around the map mm -hmm. so you can see, and then uh, move around the map, and then you can see. Okay, um, character boards, character boards. Oh, look at that guy. Hmm. Um, and then these are gonna be. Your, and I know they just came out with an expansion for the game, too. Um, the Echo. So these are going to be the guys that you can eat. These are the people cards that you can eat. Okay, the promo. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Let's look at the promo card. So you have Callow Knight. Lupo. Ooh. And Farkas. Hmm. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna open up the people and show them the people. Mm -hmm. Or the characters. Oh, okay. I'll open these. Just, yeah, let's show them some of these. We'll give you a sneak, a little sneak peek. So this is Lady Beatrice. Lady Beatrice. You have Boris. Hold on, I'm not Boris Pouchkin or Pouchkin. You have Don. Is that a C or a G? G. Gravasi. Sorry, I can't read cursive. <laughs> Yoko. That's a C. Chi Chiaco. Josephine Lafayette. And Rajish or Rajish Amara. So those are the vampires that they have. Um, I like how they're all culturally different. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then I'll let Sierra show you guys some of those cards and then we'll kind of wrap it up. Look like uh, pets, maybe? I was gonna say, I don't know. Like but companion? I know they have companions. Okay, that you maybe can do. that's what it is. Ooh, it's a ram. Ooh, a cobra. Hey, hey. Mm. Oh, oh, here's that eternal rose. Perfect rose. Perfect rose. Dead rose. And some hunger code cards. Here's the third. Interesting. All right, guys. So this is the hunger, and uh, so again, this is a 
game from uh, Renegade Studios, and then Richard Garf uh, Richard Garfield uh, is the designer, and Renegade Studios is the publisher. And then um, we can who published Dog Park? Birdwood games. Birdwood games. And then what about Canvas? Let's do Canvas Art Two IG games. Yeah. Mm, all right so that is our small business saturday uh pickup that i picked up so we are definitely at some point gonna bust these games out and try them out we got we got a bunch of games that we got to review and play through um so we're gonna be busy we'll be busy over the next couple of days and we got some kickstarter games coming in and some game found games coming in too over the coming weeks so we have a lot of content coming our way as always guys please comment like subscribe let us know if there's any games you would like for us to play or buy or review um so that you can see um but that is it guys yeah. all right. and y'all know how these ones go yep yep all right guys well as always have a great one and stay tuned to our next video bye bye